this tutorial we are going to show you how to make a solitaire. This solitaire <coughs> will have accent stones on the shoulders and we will use a bezel set for the center stone. Alright, so first thing we will go to the Gems tab and we will select the Gem Studio. So once we go to the Gem Studio, we have here all this panel that is giving us all the information that we know or we need to create any gem all right so for instance what weight do we want to choose so here you can set it up by yourself i want to make uh, one carat stone so i just click one carat and as you can see automatically we already get the diameter if you want to change the diameter you can do you can do it at any time okay so there we go we have the stone here once we validate the stone, it's time to go to the jewelry tab and select the Shang Builder. On the Shang Builder, as you know, in Rhino Call, we always start with the library tab. In this library, we have all these models already done. So first try to find out the model that you think can suit your de uh, design. I believe that I will go for the 002. So when I double click on the 002, I already get this model with these stones on the shoulder and with this taper shape. As always, always the same workflow in Rhinoco. We go to the third tab and on the third tab we can start to make this design at our, uh, our own, meaning you can modify anything the way that we advise to do it is first you start to play with these handles and then when it's time to be more precise you can go to the right panel and start to input the right measurements so in this middle section I want to be three and a half width by 1.7 thickness okay so if I go to the perspective I know that this profile here has these exact measurements, all right? What about the bottom? If I want to go the same width, I can go to 3.5, and here I will go a bit lower on height, 1.5, all right? We can set up the comfort fit as well. Now we have here that it's 0 0.5, I will go a bit less. 0.3 so now as you can see the half done is a bit less deeper than it was at the very beginning okay so we have the total control keep in mind that at any time you can change any of these profiles just say that now we want to make a funny design we just click on the middle profile double click and this this pop-up window with different profiles come out if I choose the number two have a look at this now we just get this shape here you can add your own profiles from this uh, plus sign at any time all right so you know what I like this design why not I'm gonna keep it like this what is very important from Rhino Ball that you can in this shine you can edit anything okay so now here we are talking in the second tab about the stones at this stage I know that I have three 1.7 stones it's the fir three first ones in the row and two 1.5 I will remove the 1.5 and I will keep adding 1.7 stones yes I like I like it like this all right I validate and we already have this ring something that I forgot at any time you can go back and edit the ring you just need to click on the ring and while it select I click on the uh, middle mouse button this pop-up windows come out and I just need to click on edit from the moment that I click on edit and I go back to the builder for this ring look at the ring size I can select what area what kind of uh, numeric do I want for this ring if I want the US I click on the US and now I just set up 
the finger size. I will go for a standard size like six, six and a half or even a bit bigger like a eight. And as you can see, we always keep the same width and the same thickness. We are not scaling the ring. We are just changing the finger size. This is very, very important. If you want to keep this ring into your own library, just click here and say uh, just any name, test, demo. Okay, and from the moment that we do this, the test demo comes out here. Okay, test demo. All right, we go back and what is left now? I validate because now it's time to work with this stone. So I will set up what heck do I want for this stone. Yes, this is okay. All right, so now we have the stone. What we need to do on this stone is to create a bezel according to the diameter. So I select the bezel and because the stone is already select, I already get um, a bezel adapt to this stone. As you know, we always use the same workflow in Rhinogold. So from the first tab, we have the library where you can choose any of these designs. I like the number two. And now, as you can see, this design adapts by itself to the stone. All right. Next step is go to the third tab. And here on the third tab, we already have these control points to adapt the bezel to the height that we want. So I will go to the front view, where it will be easier for me to control these points. And I just make the shape that I want. Okay. If I want to make this bezel a bit more roundish, I just add another control point and look at this. All right. So now I can make any change that I want to adapt it to my design. What other options do we have from this tool? We can add cutters. Now I have this. I just say that I want to add a few cutters here. I will go a bit more narrower. From here I can add cutters. One, two, three, and four cutters. And now I can move them. I can move these cutters and I can do anything that I want. I want to, if I make the cutter wider, I get, I get this shape. All right. And why not? We can keep the bezel like this. So we will have a nice solitaire for this one character stone. All right, so I validate. And one of the cool things about Rhinoball, as I said before, you can always edit what you have done before using the Rhinoball tools. So I click on the ring. Again, uh, I click the middle mouse button and edit. From the moment that I click edit, I open my shank and now I can edit the stones. I want to move the stones out. So I will go here. And I will say I want to move. As you can see, we always have tooltips in all the icons, so you know what is this input for. So now I just move them out. I like this distance. Okay. Now what I will do next is Probably what I could do is just move this a bit more in. So I go to the shank and I adapt it to the bezel. So I have a nicer, a nicer join between the bezel and the ring. Okay. I validate. And the last thing that it's to be done is just to adapt 
this bezel to the finger size. So we go to adapt the ring size. And as you can see, in just one click, I already adapted to the ring size. So now if I go to the rendered mode, I already have this nice solitaire to show to my customers. All right, hope you like it. Now it's time to you try Rhinogold and let's see what design comes out. Thank you.